Welcome to a special report. Today we have breaking news. Uh, former Cardinal McCarrick has been criminally charged in Massachusetts. And uh, this was an allegation from the 1970s, 1974 to be exact. Uh, there was a 16-year-old boy at the time that was accusing McCarrick um, of misconduct. And the reason why this is big news is because this is the first criminal charge that's come against McCarrick. Statute of limitations was taking place in a lot of other states. The statute of limitations means that you cannot, you, you cannot, uh, I guess, charge someone criminally for something that was done um, so a number of decades ago. So like 30 years ago, it might, you know, the statute of limitations might expire. It varies state by state, but um, yeah, here it is. So Massachusetts, there's a technicality in the statute of limitations, and it is because McCarrick was not a resident of Massachusetts, and uh, that's why we have the technicality. So this is going to be good. And what this means for the actual court cases is that McCarrick is going to receive a subpoena from uh, the judge or in the court, and he's going to be forced to appear in court or else go to jail, which it looks like uh, if he's found guilty, he will go to jail anyway, but that would be after the court case. Now, let me take a look and see what, uh, see if there's anything that says. I have a few links down below. Um, he's already facing a slew of civil lawsuits in New York and New Jersey. So civil is just uh, financial. They're going to sue him for, for the money that he has. But uh, yeah, the, the criminal charges are what we're really concerned about. Uh, it says criminal, yeah, the, the statute of limitations has been expired. And so let's also take a look here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, so let, let's take a look at what's going to actually happen with this. So McCarrick's 91 years old. Uh, he has a lawyer, and his lawyers make money based off of um, how long they, re they represent him. So I guess he, he's going to get a monthly bill from the lawyers. So they have, they're in the best interest of delaying. Uh, it's in the best interest of the McCarrick and the lawyers to delay this as long as possible. Now, if he goes to court uh, and he gets found guilty, he could go to jail. Uh, but there's also the possibility that since he's 91 years old, he will not make it uh, to court or he will not make it to jail. And that would either be because of his declining health, he would die of natural causes, or he would die of a suicide. And we all, we're all familiar with, you know, high profile figures that are facing jail time and they have information, they have dirt on other people, but they somehow uh, decide to commit suicide. And uh, there's, there's certain examples of that, but, um, but yeah, I'm sure you all are aware of that. And if McCarrick does die before the court case occurs, then a lot of this information that he has or someone else has will not be released publicly. And it really comes down to what the, the victims, uh, what the victims' priorities are in this case. So what do they want? Do they want justice? Do they want McCarrick to go to jail? Probably. Do they want money out of the case? Um, I'm sure. I mean, you know, they'll take it. And, or do they want the McCarrick network to be exposed? Now, this is, this is something that I'm not sure that the victims are necessarily concerned about. And they should be. And I know that myself, along with all the viewers, are certainly concerned about the McCarrick Network being uh, rooted out of the church, and it's very going to be a very long and painful process. However, with uh, with these court cases, that is probably the least of the priorities of the of the uh, victims is the McCarrick Network being exposed. But it's one of the uh, I don't want to say un unintended consequences, but I will say one of the side uh, aspects, I guess, of the court case would be that the McCarrick network would be exposed. So with the, um, with all of this, with, with the court case, the potential that McCarrick even goes to court, it certainly would be good for the church because it would expose the McCarrick network. However, if he dies, then it's not going to happen. And, um, I don't really know. Now here's, here's the interesting thing. McCarrick now lives in Missouri. A lot of us were wondering where McCarrick was. We even had a video 
about a year ago as sort of a parody thing. Where's McCarrick, like the Where's Waldo thing? Well, now he's in Missouri. So uh, the, these news reports, uh, I don't know where, who initially broke the story. Was it AP? I don't know if the Associated Press broke the story, if they just um, piggybacked off of someone else. But someone knows that McCarrick lives in Missouri. He was in Kansas, and then Church Militant uh, said he was in Florida, and the, the Bishop of St. Augustine, Florida, um, they, they had a back and forth with Church Militant where the bishop actually lied, uh, and Church Militant caught, them in a, caught the bishop in a lie, but they didn't prove that McCarrick was in Florida. And so now McCarrick's in Missouri. And I, I would be interested in any reporter, because there was a reporter that actually got an interview with McCarrick. Um, whenever he was in Kansas, and I think that's why he was, he left Kansas. Now, the the, uh, the issue of McCarrick's money is a big one. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the, the issue, so McCarrick's money, um, how much money does he have? Does he have millions? Does he have tens of millions? And he's, sir, is he paying a place to hide him? Does he live in a, a monastery or a friary, or does he live in somewhere else? Um, I don't know, and... I would like to see someone get to the bottom of this because it's possible. Now, it's it's also possible that McCarrick's not paying money to the place where he's staying. It's possible that someone's hiding him. So, like, the, the Archdiocese of Washington could be paying money to a place to house McCarrick to, to kind of keep him on under the radar so that none of this information is released. And that that's right now that's a big problem for the McCarrick Network because they're, they're getting a lot of their... Um, their priests uh, busted by the pillar <laughs> for using uh, apps to meet LMNOP, uh, other LMNOP men. Um, so that's that's certainly problematic. The McCarrick Network's really in a lot of trouble. So, um, but yeah, McCarrick's 91 years old. I don't even know if he'll make it to court. I, in fact, what, what do you think? The chances, I think, are unlikely. So this has been breaking news. I don't have anything else on this. So uh, I just, I like to break these stories whenever they come up. It's a really interesting one. And hopefully someone will investigate McCarrick um, and his whereabouts in Missouri and maybe get some interviews, get some uh, information from him. We'd like to know where the money's at, who, um, you know, what the money, what's, what's involved, uh, who's involved with the money and who was promoted because of McCarrick's influence. So um, hopefully someone comes up with that. Thank you so much for watching. We are the laity. We will not be silent.